Everybody. This is Andy from the Wolfpack. I want to invite you to the second part of my series for the HTC Inspire. This time I'm going over software uh, for your computer and your uh, Android to transfer your music and photos uh, and other applications on the phone. The first uh, application I'm going to go over is for Facebook. The Facebook for Android uh, is not very good. It doesn't allow you to get to uh, your pages. Like say for instance, I wanted to get to uh, our own web page. I would have to scroll down through here. Our Facebook page would be down somewhere. Hopefully somebody posted something. Oh here, she posted on our Facebook page. And that's the only way I can get to, nope, I actually went to her wall, which even then. So uh, it's, it, it is horrible. Uh, the best way to get to your uh, wall is not through the Facebook for Android app. I am currently been using more, uh, it's called Friendcaster. Friendcaster uh, works very well. Uh, you can get to your own applications. You got your uh, main menu here. You got your news feed, profile, friends, uh, notifications, messages, groups, events, and uh, pages. Oh, isn't that great? And then you can mark some pages that you like to go to more often. Uh, there's our Facebook, our at t fan page. And I can get over here and post and put pictures and videos. And it works very well. The only thing I cannot do uh, from the uh, essentially Fencaster, which was formerly Flow, is uh, delete a post. So for that, I've been using the full version. Full version takes you right to the internet site. Essentially, it's using your whole internet. Go to Facebook. I just select which internet uh, browser I want to use. Um, and then it goes and it sets it up in the desktop way. Otherwise, if you went to your internet app, you'd have to go down and select, uh, uh, instead of mobile version, you'd have to select desktop version. And this does it right for you. And it works very well. The uh, second application I would like to go over is called Double Twist. Double Twist allows you to put your music, your photos, and videos from your computer that were formerly in iTunes and anywhere else onto your HTC Inspire. Works very well. I had no problems whatsoever with the setup. I downloaded the uh, software for the computer, downloaded the app on the from the market and uh, worked flawlessly uh, like that very much so so I highly recommend double twist excellent application okay let's go back over here the next one is a very popular uh, application that people liked with their not really an application which was just a, a shortcut on the iPhone 4 which was hitting the uh, the off and the home button uh, we have uh, for screenshots we have what's called uh, of course it's already on but uh, it's called shoot me shoot me allows me to essentially do this just shake it okay and then I go to the gallery and there it is there's my screenshot I just took right now works very well if you want to take screenshots of your speed test and put them up on our page, that would be welcome. Welcome. Uh, oh, going back over here, let's go back over here. The other part of Double Twist was called AirSync, which would allow me to connect up to Apple TV and I could sync uh, um, uh, up to the Apple TV and show my pictures and videos through Apple TV. I uh, haven't worked with that yet, but uh, from someone else I talked to, it worked very well. So, okay, let's go back over here. The next application or little tweak that I like is called Wave Launcher. Wave Launcher, which essentially you just swipe up from the bottom of your phone. Okay, uh, I'm not 
doing something right here. Okay. Okay. Don't know why it's not working now. Oh, there we go. Um, I haven't used it a lot, but I just installed that. David uh, uh, informed me on that one. And see, I've got like one, two, three, four, five applications that I use quite frequently. And uh, like I point to flow, see how big it is, and then let go. And it goes straight to uh, uh, flow or friend caster, whichever you want to call it. Uh, that works pretty good. Uh, that's the first time I've ever had it hiccup like that and not really uh, start off from the... Uh, it might have been because I was also receiving a notification there. You heard when it come on there. Okay, the uh, next application uh, I like to use, even though weather is right here, I many times like to see uh, the radar maps and um, I use Weatherbug Elite. Works very well. It's got a full motion map. Of course, nothing going on right now. But uh, that's another application I like to use. Uh, the next one would be the uh, what has killed me altogether is this the keyboard. Uh, going from the iPhone 4 to this has uh, been really tough. I've went through a few keyboards. I finally have resolved to the uh, one keyboard called Keyboard from Android 2.3 Plus. Works very well. I've had no problem really problems with this um, much better than than the previous ones that I tried uh, I think part of the problems is also the size of the screen so uh, memory wise of where the keys are are a little bit different because the screen is just a little bit bigger than the iPhone 4 and I think I noticed that too because I've also went back to my iPhone 4 and had problems typing because I was missing the keys because I'm getting used to the Android keyboard. So, yeah, that works. This one works really well. I'm going to stick with this one for sure. Uh, I think at this point, I'm just, you know, I'm just going to stick with a keyboard and, uh, and uh, get the use, uh, get the, you know, used to one instead of trying so many other ones. So, uh, the next uh, thing to go over is security. Uh, I currently am using uh, security called Lookout. Look out, there you go. Uh, scans uh, all the applications that I'm downloading. Uh, I guess I can open it. And uh, my security's protected, privacy of answer, backups ready. Um, in case uh, I lost my device, I could go on their site and actually track a uh, missing device. Um, uh, works over fairly well. I just suggest anybody getting security. AVG is also no, another popular one out there. Um, e any of them would work really well. Uh, just get some security on your phone because uh, there are some Android and viruses out there. The next application or app that I use or I think is important is called Titanium Backup. Titanium Backup backs up all your uh, applications on your um, your phone, uh, you know, your AirSync, Amazon, it, it backs up pretty much everything. Uh, it will back it up to Dropbox, and that would be the next uh, app I would go over. Let's go to Dropbox. Uh, had really never used Dropbox much before because I always had a mobile me account. I still have my mobile me account because my wife and my kids are still on their iPhones. So I have Dropbox here, and you can see right there, boom, there's my titanium backup right there on the uh, uh, Dropbox. So all in all, those are some applications I'm using. Let's see, let's go over here. Maybe it's, uh, oh, Twitter. Yeah, we haven't, I don't know, think we've went over Twitter. Uh, I'm currently using Seismic don't like the Twitter app. The Twitter app does not allow me to put up videos so I went with one called Seismic. Uh, I went with another one for our Wolfpack page called Tweetcaster which actually is made by the thing, same company that makes Friendcaster Flow for Facebook. So uh, those book work very well. Alright everybody, uh, I want to thank everybody for watching my video on applications.